Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's challenge location. A, uh, it's actually a panorama all on its own and there's really not too much to go on here except uh, that it's snowing. That's a clue. The second clue that I could spot is it's a panorama. Uh, and not it's not actually uh, some roads. It's a it's just a still panorama And then the final clue is this car over here with the white horizontal license plate now to me this in all of this indicates one thing the white horizontal license plate which I don't believe to have a tint of blue to it although it very well might and that would throw me off uh, I believe is I believe indicates that we are in oh goodness gracious. Oh god Oh, well, please don't screw this up for me. All right, well, okay. Oh, God, no. What's going on here? No, please, please fix yourself. Oh, God, oh, no. No, I want to make a guess. What are you doing? Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness. All right, well, uh, I can only see over here. So we're going to zoom in. I believe we're in Ukraine. So that's okay. Great. I, I finally have got Ukraine here. Uh, I, I'm not going to zoom in anymore because honestly, what the hell's the point? I believe we're in the Ukraine here because uh, the snow, the fact we're in a panorama, we all, as we all know, Ukraine loves taking pictures. And that's just based on oftentimes you find yourselves in panoramas and they're in the Ukraine snow. And the fact that there's this white horizontal license plate, but I don't believe is an EU license plate. I just believe it's like their own license plate looks very similar to the Russian ones. So we're going to do that and we're going to say um, in between uh, Kiev and Kar Kharkiv. Oh, God. Well, let's go say that right there. Let's make the guess. And yes, there you go. We were actually uh, specifically in um, Kriviri, um, uh, right near, uh, God, we were right near, uh, there's a roundabout here, uh, Burdinok Rad. Um, on Haharina Avenue, on specifically uh, block behind Block Four of Rokosovo's Hoso Street. So okay, but we were very close to the city center of Kriv of Kriviri, Krivi oh Kriviri. Sorry, there's an I there that keeps getting hidden. Kriviri. So there you go, but uh, you know what? I guessed Ukraine, so let's see if you guys were able to narrow it down to Ukraine as well. 2,666 points. Awesome. So here we are in today's challenge location, and this one should be uh, pretty easy, but uh, it is a very interesting location, so I figure uh, might as well put it on here because I, I, we're pretty much restricted to a single place in the world in this one. I'm not going to say any more. I'm just going to pan around, um, not too quickly, but hopefully you guys have seen it enough to, to get the clues uh, as to where you think we are. And I'm going to just say the way these challenges work. The idea is I just pan around uh, this location here. I am going to, in tomorrow's episode, make a guess as to where this is. But you guys, what you guys have to do is make a guess in the comments down below where you think this is. Be as precise as possible because it's pretty obvious what city we're in. I really hope it's obvious what city we're in. Uh, I mean, it's uh, hopefully uh, I'm right. Um, I'm not saying hopefully it's obvious to you guys. I'm saying hopefully I'm right about what city we're in. And then in that case, I'm right about saying it's obvious. But, uh, I mean, hell, you never know. Um then uh, there you go. That's what it's going to be. So for this challenge, write down in the comments below where you think we are. Be as precise as possible, as descriptive as possible. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to announce who uh, the winner is. Well, I'm not going to announce it in the video. I'm going to announce it in the comment section of the video. In tomorrow's video, I'm just going to show where the location is because I'm going to make the guess. But for this one, it's pretty easy. So I will. It's pretty easy in the sense that it's very easy if, one, you can you know this language. Second of all, if you can read the street signs I've panned around, uh, um, I've panned around a bunch of times, and much easier if you can Google shit. Because if you can Google this, this word right here, just, just this. All you need to do is just Google this 
and then um, you, and then the city, which is pretty damn obvious. Uh, well, it's pretty obvious what city we're in. I really hope we're gonna find that out tomorrow if it's as obvious. But we very well could be in another city. But honestly, even if we're in another city in this country, and you just Google this, you were gonna get you're gonna get the exact location probably. So I say don't do that. Don't Google it. Just look around. Try and look around. Uh, try and actually look through that city to try and find the location. Sure, if you can uh, read this language, uh, that might help you. If you want to use landmarks and stuff, like uh, maybe maybe this can help you. Uh, yeah, that that seems pretty darn. Uh, that's a pretty clear to read. It says C star. So there you go. Maybe that'll help you. Uh, I say look around in that city. And if any of you guys have found it exactly right, tell me how long did it take you just by looking around in this city to figure out where it is. Without, um, you can either look around it in Google Maps. You can either look around it in GeoSetter if you would like to. But how long did it take you just by looking to find this location? Um, is what I would love for you guys to do for this challenge. Don't. Google the name of this thing and then just find it immediately. That's it's not cheating, but you know it's 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 no fun. This one should be relatively easy. So hopefully you guys uh, are going to do that, and I will see you guys tomorrow, where I'm going to make a very broad guess and not get it exact at all. Hello everyone, what is cooking? All you good-looking people out there, and welcome to another exciting. Oh fuck! Why do I keep doing that? No, this isn't another episode of GeoGuessr. This is just me starting the challenge. It's so confusing. I have to, like, stop because I have to do cuts in between everything. So I, like, stop for, like, a few seconds, wait around, check my phone, and then I completely forget what we're doing. God. Oh, it's so it's so disjointing recording an episode now, but it's okay. I, I like it. It's just uh, very strange between transitions sometimes. My mind just kind of goes astray. Anyways, this is going to be a three-minute challenge. Let's go create that. Oh, man, it's going to be awesome. URL.geoguessr.com slash 79WR. You can find that link down in the description below. And um, you guys can click on that, do the challenge, come back, and then uh, we are going to be doing it, doing it. Very nice. Let's go. Let's start this challenge. Okay, so oh, this isn't an interesting uh, location too much. Now, some of you guys were wondering about the GeoGuessr beta, and I still won't be playing in that. And the reason why is because I can't provide you guys uh, a link to this. And I know I don't know if um, I don't know if you guys are still actually doing these challenges yourselves. Uh, but I just like having that link in there. I like having being able to send you guys a link to the challenge so you guys can do it as well. And you can't do that in uh, the GeoGuessr beta. Um, please tweet at, uh, the devs, or, I, well, they'll tweet at the devs, they, that's their own private Twitter account, tweet at, uh, GeoGuessr on, uh, Twitter and tell them, hey, put in, uh, the functionality to have a website in, uh, to, to, to get a link to the challenge in, uh, the GeoGuessr beta, because I would, I would like to play in that, apparently, um, you get a lot of, a lot less of these, uh, back rows, middle of nowhere, a lot less Brazil, Australia going on, uh, which is, which, which is nice. I mean, a lot of Australia locations are great, and a lot of Brazil locations are, are great, too. In, in fact, uh, the Brazil locations, there's not too many Brazil back roads. A lot of Australia back roads, though. A lot of Australia back roads. Brazil back roads are so particularly hard to get. Uh, you know, it, cool locations. Uh, if if the algorithm sends you in back roads a lot less, that's better for me. Now, uh, my I'm still actually kind of screwed on, on figuring out where we are. Uh, I don't actually know where we are. I've kind of been uh, going down this road for really long, and I haven't really come up fruitful. I'm hoping that I see something soon. Now, we did see a sign that looked North American, and it was a road sign. So, um, I'm going to say, oh, great, look at this. What do we, oh, we can't see what that says. This says, um, soft shoulder. Okay, uh, N Alkali Road, soft shoulder. The fact the signs look like that seem a bit interesting. Those are those are North American road signs, I believe, uh, and those were and that was on the right hand side of the road. So we've got to be in uh, North America right now. Then I guess uh, specifically the United States. I'm guessing because I don't know of anywhere in Canada that looks like this. Oh great, we can find a vehicle. Is it a pickup truck? I mean, of course it's going to be uh, since we are in America. We've got, oh, 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 license plate like that, I recognize it, but I don't know where it is. Ooh, that's a good clue, except I don't recognize where license plates like that come from. License plates like that come from, ooh, God, I forget, it's not, uh, it's not California, is it? 
Hmm, strange. It, this is this is very. God, is it like? Are we in like? Uh, if I go like up here, no. Oh God, whatever. California, make the guess. Oh jeez, Idaho. Okay. Well, I uh, you know I, I was thinking maybe there was like a oh I was probably I was trying to look for this by the way I was trying to look for Death Valley National Park but I accidentally went to Northern California instead I was trying to look for uh, okay if that's a California license plate maybe it's uh, scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down Death Valley but I went to the wrong part of California because I'm a ding dong that's okay uh, I, I would have been even further off Idaho where in Idaho are we God, middle of nowhere, Stone Road, uh, or Bennett Mountain Road. Well, it's not really very mountainous, to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, Bennett Mountain Road, wow, and near Mountain Home, hmm, 2,439 points. Next place, ooh, this is beautiful. Where are we now? Oh, I like this, okay. Oh, mm, for a second I thought I saw a flag. I guess I must have went crazy for a second there. So we've got... Um, We've got EU license plates, we've got uh, a yellow one, which I don't know if it even means anything anymore, but the countries that use those that I know of are um, the UK, France, uh, hold on, there's, there's, a big, there's a big clue over here, isn't there, that I just sort of, uh, yeah, there is, uh, oh no, there's not, I'm driving on the right hand side of the road, damn it, what the hell, okay, well, I was driving on the right, uh, what, what do those signs say then, maybe that'll help me. Uh, the, there's, uh, this sign over here. What does this say? Um, oh, we're in France. Oh, okay. This is a vineyard. Oh, strange. Okay, so we're in France. There you go. France, uh, France, Denmark, and Netherlands, and the UK use yellow license plates that I know of. Um, in Denmark, though, I believe we will not always be seeing EU license plates, although there are some. I believe there's some kind of transition period, maybe. Um, I, I looked this up recently because of uh, that time we were in the Netherlands, and I thought, there's D16, so that's a great clue that we're in France. Uh, D16 is a one of the smaller roads. The Ds, yeah, the Ds are the really small ones, so uh, that's really not going to help. I mean, the Ds are super small. What do I know about France? Well, I mean, uh, we've got leaves that are... Um, that are gone, so we're gonna say we are in, um, okay, Burgundy, Normandy, um, we've got, like, uh, like, uh, is it Alsace, Lorraine, no, one of those, oh god, I don't remember where they are, uh, it's like, there's, like, Alsace and Lorraine are in this area over here, uh, those are, those are ones that I know, uh, I guess Bordeaux is probably the name of this whole area, the, but there you go, uh, Burgundy is probably around here, uh, there you go, so, um, I guess it's Provence, this area, maybe, uh, so yeah, okay, those are places, um, those are, um, Brittany, did I call this Burgundy earlier? I meant Brittany, I don't know if I, uh, accidentally said Burgundy, but fuck it, areas of France that I know of. Um, let's go and, uh, call this place Normandy. All right, cool. Normandy? Sure. Near Flares. I love it. Oh, make the guess, please. No, absolutely not. We were, uh, in maybe Bordeaux, Toulouse, I don't know, in between them, in a place called, well, uh, there's D146, wherever the, where did the, where did the D16 go? Did, weren't we on a D16? Wasn't there a D16 that we saw? Oh my god, D666. Well, it's pretty surprising they actually have a D666. I wouldn't have expected that. Interesting. Well, there you go. We found D66 is one of the best roads. D666. Oh my god, whatever. Alrighty. Well, now what have we got going on over here? Ooh, wow, beautiful. Beautiful mountains and stuff. Ooh, okay. This has got to be... Uh, what do we got? Cattle... Cattle grid? This is a very nice place. This reminds me of, oh, I was going to call it Mars Canada, but it's clearly not Mars Canada. It is a very beautiful place that looks like Mars Canada, kind of. I don't know about a building like this being on Mars Canada. Uh, Mars Canada is just uh, another name for Newfoundland, by the way. Um, we, are in, we are in a place in Europe that I, oh, we're probably in... Somewhere like uh, Scotland. Yeah, we're in Scotland, aren't we? Yes, very nice. Scotland. Wow, how beautiful this place is. Look at this. 
Um, okay, what do we, what else do we what else do we got over here? We've got uh, Ambagmore. Uh, ooh, I don't know. Maybe we're in. Maybe we're not in Scotland. Maybe we're in uh, Northern Ireland, regular Ireland. Um, I'm gonna say. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this actually anymore. Uh, passing place. Hmm. I don't know what that ambag more stuff could could mean. Dot Coza UK, yeah, but still. All right, we're gonna we're gonna say we are in the Royal Bank of Scotland. RBS. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Scotland. Scotland was right. All right. Cool. So, I mean, look at this place. It it this is this place right here is wonderful. This has got to be in and of itself uh, some kind of is very very. Uh, it's got to be on an island, right? Island of Sky. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Like, we could be in Uig, maybe. Is this a Bayside Gallery? No. Nothing really indicating anything over here. Uh, port, yeah, okay. Anything over here? Lockdale, Haport, Dovinchin. No, nothing over there gives me any specifics. Um, Lockmore. No. Lock, no. Sound of Mull. Nothing over here is giving me something bay. Uh, more locks. Yeah, I'm not really getting, uh, not really figuring anything out here. I'm going to say we are in, I mean, this would be cool too, but this place would be also cool. Isle of Lewis. Is there any anything over here? Um, Brad, oh my god. Uh, sure, I mean, this, this looks cool too, but honestly, I don't think we're there. At all, we're not in Stoneway. I have, I have seriously no idea. I'm gonna say we're we're right over here, Isle of Skye. Let's make the guess. No, we were actually across in uh, this little area over here. Uh, we got Ronway, and then do we have anything else? View Harbor, sure. Man, look at this, very cool. So uh, pretty, pretty close in general, actually. Three thousand eight hundred and seventy-six points. Next up, what have we got? We've got what looks to me right now like Brazil. But don't have very much to go on uh, for, so we're just going to keep going down the road, and hopefully we can see some cool stuff. Long road, middle of Brazil, truck, cement truck, driving on the right. Um, what do we got? We got a phone number that looks like it's eight digits long. Uh, yeah, that, that looks about right. Is there anything else we can see on this concrete truck? No, not really. Phone spelled F O N E. Yeah, okay, that sounds about that sounds uh, like uh, that's that's um, Portuguese. So yeah, we, we should be in Brazil. All right, let's see what else do we have over here. We've gotten can't read that. It's a bit too blurry, but there was like a danger sign. A lot of red earth, red earth. Everyone loved the red earth. Uh, so let's keep going down the road and seeing if there's. Anything else is going to leap out into our faces and really show us the way. Although I don't think there is. Ooh, again, this place. Look at this. It's very, very nice. I mean, a lot of these places, in the you're just going down like a road, and you're like, oh, man, it's just a long road. But, like, man, would I ever like to go to a place like this? I mean, it just looks so cool that, uh, you know, again, maybe someday I'll be able to uh, be able to go. All right, what do we got in the back of this sign over here? Um, vehiculos Longos, 50 meters. Okay, well, not much to say about that. What about uh, this? Um, Refaina, Limit Municipal. Okay, and then uh, Igarapu Pava. Okay, well, we are uh, reaching the municipal limits of uh, these places um, in the beautiful state of, let's call it Bahia. Let's make the guess. And um, psh, no, Belo Horizontal around here. Okay, there's Etruvina, and then there's I, I don't even know I, I don't even know how to describe. It. Oh, there's uh there's e uh, Igara Pava, and there is Rifaina. Okay, cool. So there you go. We were in the I guess Sao Paulo uh, area. Twenty one forty nine. Awesome. Ooh, and another great looking road here. What do we got? We got uh, Mount Kugel Road. Okay, Mount Kugel Road. That's a weird one. Um, we've got cars, oh, Australia, weird, cars on the left, we got the little stickies, a mount in Australia, yeah, I mean, I guess there's gotta be, it's a big country, didn't really know, um, don't really think of Australia for its mountains, but, uh, definitely has to have them, right, uh, for sure, 
So we're on the left. Uh, we're on the left hand side somewhere. We got uh, Buddy over here walking his dog. So where do we got that? Nope. Okay, I don't really know where where we got that. Sweet. Okay, let's go on. Uh, sweet. So now, do we have anything? Uh, nothing in particular that I can see right now. Nope. Nothing. All right. Let's keep on going and seeing if we can spot anything else. I don't really think I can. I mean, honestly, we're just we're just down the road. We're seeing a couple people walking their dogs. Oh man, this looks like a nice looks like a nice place to live. It's it's very very moist this area. It's very not very not dry. I'm gonna say we've got to be we've got to be near. Um, where where would a place like this exist? A place like this would exist, I would say, in um, if I had to guess, we in like near near Brisbane, I would say. Uh, let's, no, no, not, not, not Brisbane, uh, Sydney, actually, yeah, Sydney, the Sydney area, actually, no, capital area, yeah, that sounds right to me, capital area, that's what this looks like to me, sure, we're near, uh, we're near Queensland, and then, uh, we've got, um, let's, let's say we're near Bungerdor, I mean, that sounds, I mean, that sounds like my kind of place, <laughs> kidding, uh, <laughs> Bungerdor, as if that's the name of a place, that's great, uh, we did we just double back? We might have, but I, I don't even know. Okay, well, what do we what do we got going on over here? Oh, swimming pool. Okay, so you know, not 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 big access to to ocean, but honestly, we can't be too far from the from the ocean here. Only got a few moments left, so I guess I can uh, make the guess. We were ah, oh, Brisbane was the right area. Oh my goodness, we were on here on this road in Tela. Budgera Creek Road. Mmm. Telebudgera Creek Road. 867 kilometers away for 2,230 points, bringing us a grand total of 13,134. So, how how were the guesses? We got uh, Northern California for Idaho. Sure. Scotland. Pretty good. France. Uh, Normandy for what? whatever this area is. Maybe it's Bordeaux. Uh, over here, Brazil, it could be worse. Australia, could definitely be worse. 13,134. Awesome, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.